Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wang. I'm doing an all signs reading for you today. Whatever had you drawn to this reading, it is right for you at this time. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. All right, let's get to your reading. The overall energy of the reading is the Seven of Swords. It looks like you're keeping your moves hidden. It feels like a lot of strategy is going on. It feels like you've actually learned how to keep things to yourself, to, um, feels like you trust yourself enough to keep your own um, keep your own energy to keep to trust your own moves what is this um, it looks like this is in regards to creating a happy home creating a happy life that you can celebrate so it feels like you're keeping your moves to yourself right now, not communicating with others. It feels like um, there's a lot of strategy in where you are right now. It feels like you're having to uh, keep something hidden, holding something back around communication, and it's working. It feels like this is leading to creating a happy home for yourself. This also is helping you move on from some type of grief, helps you get out of this grieving. It feels like you're moving forward, whatever you're strategizing on and you're not sharing with the world. It feels like you're, you've got your trusted counsel. You're not sharing your moves with everyone again i'm getting um you are taking action but it's it's hidden it's behind the scenes there's something about the actions that you're taking that feel a little magical like uh you're trusting um you're trusting that you will get to that happy home that happy outcome it feels like you're collaborating, you're co-creating whatever this is with the universe. Uh, wherever you're heading towards, whatever this happy home you're heading towards, it, it feels like, um, I mean, heck, you're collaborating with the all that is. It feels like it's more important how you're doing this the not the destination but it feels like your guides are saying uh, the how of this the journey itself is more important than the destination with regards to whatever this is for you to learn how to make moves to learn how to co-create with the universe it looks like um it has been your experience <laughs> in the past and maybe maybe even presently to when you make moves that it causes so much of a of anxiety fears coming up it feels like whatever this t move is whatever it is that you are wanting the direction you're moving towards it feels like in the past uh it's not a sustainable energy it feels like when you're in this energy in the past you're just doing it in your with anxiety with difficulty fears and it looks like you're learning how to work through all of that, how to feel what you're feeling, to feel those anxieties, the worries, to feel those feelings, not ignore them, not suppress them, not numb out, but it feels very important 
It feels like you're switching how you move, how you make moves. Very interesting. It looks like um, it looks like you're willing to put in the effort and the time. You're also willing to put in finances to back whatever this is. But it feels like there's someone that you're dealing with in this present energy who is, their energy is very inconsistent. And I get the feeling that um, you might not be able to communicate exactly what's going on here, but something's just off with whoever uh, you're dealing with. And it looks like you're learning how to, how to do things differently, how to make moves quietly to get where you want and co-creating with the universe. Very interesting. Uh, so curious what this is if you wanna share personally it feels like there are different storylines attached to this type of energy this opportunity to uh, really learn how to make moves so in the future when you make moves it's not so difficult looks like you're clearing up cleaning up your energy so you can make moves in a more fluid way in the future it feels like you're learning how to dance a different dance. Like you used to make these moves and they would look, you know, like this. And now it feels like you're learning how to, you know, okay, that's it. Smooth things out and make things easier. So it's not about the destination, even though it does look assured that you are going to get the results that you want. However, it's how you get there how you smooth out that so you aren't afraid of making these type of moves going forward. Wow, beautiful. It looks like you're facing a lot of fears right now. Okay, the hidden blessings is the two of pentacles. It feels like you're at a choice point. You're learning how to make decisions and go after what you want. You're learning not only how it's how you move, how you make decisions. There's a lot that, that's shifting in your energy. It looks like you're making choices away from a very painful timeline. So where there's been a lot of betrayal. The blessing here is you recognize betrayal. You recognize deception. You recognize um, just that feeling of like a like a rattlesnake. Something isn't right here. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it feels like you have gone through a lot in your past. And so you recognize the feeling. It doesn't look like you're going to have to wait. You do, you're not going to make yourself wait until logic, until you see it. It feels like you're trusting how you feel and you're making moves on more on how you feel beautiful like trusting your gut trusting your intuition trusting when something isn't right it feels like in the past you might not have listened to your gut you might have listened to what someone else told you took their uh whatever they were telling you as truth instead of trusting how you're feeling so it feels like it, growing up people invalidated your emotions invalidated your perspective invalidated oh you're not hurt get up so not you they constantly invalidating your perspective so in you thought something was one inherently wrong with you but it wasn't you were just being controlled and manipulated to live in someone else's reality, someone else's perspective. Wow. And so now you, 
it looks like you've um, have like the vaccine, <laughs> if you will, to uh, this type of energy. Someone telling you something to try to manipulate you, try to coerce you, trying to get you to do something that's in their benefit but not yours, pulling you away from your well-being to somehow, uh, like it's your job it feel, to acquiesce. feels like you're saying, no, nope, I, I'm not going to be manipulated in that way. I'm going to trust how I'm feeling, even if I can't explain it, even if I can't communicate to it, because these lower chakras don't talk. <laughs> so I find that my throat chakra, my uh, third eye chakra, maybe even crown, like I can communicate like this. I, their word, their words, their storylines, there's understanding. But that doesn't make the, the lower vibrational chakras, there's some type of like lower, low vibe, high vibe only. These chakras are important. They're v vital. They're your body. They're who you are, the whole of who you are. They're your power, your center of power, your ability to create and your physical body, your physical reality, those are not base and lower. And so it feels like you are learning how to trust feelings, uh, impressions that you get, even if you can't justify or explain it, it feels like you are showing yourself that you trust those nagging feelings and it feels like someone has kind of sent off your spidey senses and you're like this just doesn't feel like a good deal something is not right i don't know how to explain it but i'm i'm just going to trust and and go in a, di a different direction and it feels like a lot of celebration it feels like that's scary because there's some type of um, manipulation that's like, well, maybe I should take this. Uh, ooh. But I get like a kick in my side, like, no, no, my gut's like, no, this isn't for me. And it feels like I'm learning how to trust how to, how to operate, how to fly, how to uh, move in this space in a conscious way. Wow, 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 wow. All right, wow. What you're leaving behind is temperance. Patience. You're leaving behind patience. I'm getting more of uh, toleration, tolerating. <clears throat> it ooh, looks like uh, you're leaving behind tolerating. Well, this is someone telling you that this is as good as it gets. And you're like, well, I guess that's as good as it gets. Or I guess that's the, my best option. Tolerating. It feels like you're leaving behind um, accepting less than what you prefer tolerating um it looks like you're having this big shift and showing yourself how independent you can be you're leaving behind someone um Okay, let's see if I can get this. You're leaving behind. It feels like someone in this current energy 
is having maybe financial difficulty and it feels like this person might be manipulating you wanting you to carry their burden their this financial burden um even it's against your best interest And it feels like you recognize on some level that this person is manipulating you. You recognize this person is, this deal is better for this person and not you. And, uh, and you're recognizing that. And I think you're not interested in a one-sided deal. You're willing to wait and it feels like a, a intelligent gamble um, wait for your blessings. It looks like they are coming in. Uh, so I'm getting that if you go and trust that something better is waiting for you, you get nine pentacles. If you, if you uh, center your fear and anxiety and trust what this person is telling you, even though you don't feel good about it, then it's three pentacles, it's less. Uh, you will take the loss on this, whatever this is. And it feels like you're leaving behind deals where it's one-sided, where one person benefits to your expense. It feels like you're no longer uh, accepting less than what you want. Wow very empowering a lot of faith a lot of trust a lot of learning how to trust your instincts very impressive okay how to get the most of this energy is the ten of cups in reverse it does feel like a lot of emotions are coming up to be cleared as you allow yourself to feel into these lower chakras and just acknowledge how you're feeling getting a higher eq emotional intelligence understanding allowing yourself to feel right where you're at saying wow i'm feeling really anxious this is really nerve-wracking i'm concerned about this like allowing yourself to feel not bypassing not spiritually bypassing feelings not uh seeing emotions and lower chakras as less than um it feels like uh your answer is becoming more aligned more aligned and and connecting with your emotions feeling them feeling how you're feeling right now without trying to alter it without how, trying to change it but acceptance of right where you're feeling that's how to get the most of this it's not trying to control what happens not trying to manipulate and control your environment but trusting if it doesn't feel right i i trust that and i'm gonna make another choice there are okay beautiful oh my gosh listen to this oh my gosh what a great message so a lot of us uh, spiritually believe higher vibration better top t these are the most important the lower uh chakras are lower are less than are not as important and what it looks like we're all learning is that the are these are indeed tuning into lower frequencies but lower frequencies as in yellow the sun orange uh emotions feeling creativity red uh fire passion desire so these are important parts of being human or we wouldn't have them i'm also seeing just like whales their call goes very it's a, a low i'm seeing a vibration that's a lower frequency it's not 
you know, high frequency, quick wavelengths. It's low and and whales can hear each other hear at that those low sounds travel further so you might only be able to perceive a shorter distance where your emotions can feel past whatever is being said and what you can see and can feel further into the truth and the reality of the situation and so it's important to listen to your gut it's important to listen to your feelings because that those instincts those lower feelings are going to help inform you if this is a good choice or not not just can i see it but can i feel it wow i hope that came through um with clarity that's amazing okay wow uh as new people join welcome if you are new to this channel um the messages uh new messages new information new energies um so it's lovely as this channel grows and expands how with each of you that come in and uh, share your energy the messages shift as well it's very it's so beautiful so all right uh what's supporting you is the knight of swords communication swift communication direct honest communication it's interesting okay We've also got the, the Knight of Pentacles. It feels like whatever this is, it's around um, your environment, around your body, around your home, around your business, work, finances, Pentacles related. When it what I'm getting here, the message here is something is not working. There's a lack of success that's going on, but that is actually supporting you. You might perceive this as, oh, that didn't go as I expected. I wanted this. I was trying to get there. I wanted that and somehow something didn't work and you're going in another direction that's a better fit. You're whatever, it could be a relationship, it could be a relationship to something or someone. Feels like there's just, just something isn't working. I can't even, I can't put it to words. One, it's different for each of us, but it is a feeling. It's a ick. It's something I I really want. I thought I wanted, but it everything is telling me emotionally that this is not the right time or the right situation. And it looks like you're holding space. You're nurturing yourself. You're caring how you feel, and that's making all the difference. That's what's supporting you. One communicating your willingness to walk away from something that isn't successful that isn't what you thought it was going to be and your willingness what's working for you is your willingness to love yourself to trust your emotions to um, hold space for what it is that you want it feels like you're focused on something that you really really want and um, it does it feels like you're going to get what you want but it feels like if you accepted this offer and tried to push through and get it there's actually something much better there's something much better coming in and it feels like you're trusting your intuition and waiting for whatever that better to come all right, what to be mindful of is the three of cups in reverse. 
I think I think you show up as generally as a very fair and honest person and I think uh, you sometimes are maybe a little too honest because you assume that someone is going to meet you at that space but I think from time to time you know we have to be mindful of people who are trying to um, that are more interested in their well-being and what they want they're okay with you uh, taking an L or taking a loss this feels like people who are emotionally shallow and it, that's what you're learning is having the depth of emotions being willing to feel being willing to trust how someone is making you feel not as but as information as guidance yeah there's something around communication and emotionally manipulative communication you're learning how to break from tradition and tradition being being manipulated uh, believing what people tell you and not believing how your body your own feelings uh, validating your own feelings it feels like people have invalidated you so much uh, invalidated how you feel oh that's not how you're feeling oh you're not hurt oh that didn't hurt I didn't that you are over so it feels like constantly people uh, invalidated your experience in the past and so you were like well i guess i something's wrong with me uh something's wrong with how i perceive things um and so i'll trust how they are perceiving reality um i'll trust their version and it looks like you're taking your power back and you're showing yourself in whatever this is that um that you can trust the decisions that you make when you make them and listen to your whole self you're not um as dupable as you used to be as manipulative ma ma as easily manipulated as you used to be in the past uh, it looks like you've learned how to validate your own feelings and so like if you're like i i know you feel icky i know this whatever this is it just feels off it feels gross and i'm not sure what that is but i'm i'm listening and i'm so glad that i can feel this i'm so glad that i have this connection and i'm reconnecting and trusting and learning and i'm so grateful so it feels like you're connecting and creating more of a connection with yourself in really beautiful ways so very empowering i hope that's helpful have a great day bye